What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to look at three exercises for gluteal tendonitis. So if you have pain on the outside of your hip, near this bone on the outside of your hip, these are going to be great exercises for you. Before we get into the first exercise, it's important to know that pain on the outside of the hip for a long, long time, many years, was diagnosed as hip bursitis. What we've seen in more recent research is that in most cases, about 80% of cases, the pain is actually due to tendonitis of our glute tendons. Our glute muscles wrap around and attach here on this bone, the greater trochanter. And what we know about tendonitis is that tendons respond best to gradual loading through strengthening exercises. So the three exercises in today's video are gonna do that exact thing. We're slowly gonna put stress and load on the tendons to help them adapt and become stronger. For this first exercise, you're gonna need a loop band. I'll put a link down in the description if you wanna get a set of these. What you're gonna do is put the band around both of your legs up to just above your knees. And then what we're gonna do here is a basic glute exercise called a bridge. But the band, we're gonna push out into the band, perform an isometric contraction, which will help to engage those lateral glute muscles, gluteus medius and minimus, which will help those tendons on the outside of the hip. So you're gonna lie on your back, arms out your sides, feet about shoulder width. And what I want you to do is first push out into the band. We're creating hip abduction and hip external rotation. So I'm putting some tension on the band, pushing out, putting a little bit of stress on those tendons. And then I'm gonna do a bridge and hold that band out. Hold there at the, stop, at the top for a second. This is an isometric contraction, which is gonna help those glute tendons and then come back down slowly. I want you to keep the tension on the band the whole time. Don't let it come back in. Keep the band pushed out to engage gluteus medius and minimus and to put a little bit of healing stress on those tendons. So what you're gonna do here is go for 10 to 15 repetitions. Basically go until fatigue. It's okay if you have mild to moderate pain in the uh, tendon area out on the outside of the hip as long as the pain's not severe. So mild pain usually means we're stressing the, the area appropriately. So just go for your 10 to 15 reps. You're gonna do three sets of all the exercises in this, in this video and try to do the exercises every other day or you can think about three to four times a week. Okay, so this is our first exercise. It's a double leg bridge with the band to help create hip abduction. For the second exercise, we're going to use our band again. We're going to little, get a little more specific in this exercise with targeting the uh, glute tendons. If this causes too much pain, then just stick with the first one and go to this one when you can do it with mild or less pain. So first, again, put that band up around your knees just like we did in the first exercise. If my right side has the gluteal tendinopathy, glute tendinitis, I'm going to move that leg. So you can hold on to a wall or a chair for balance. What you're going to do here is just move your leg out into hip abduction. So I'm just gonna go through this range of motion, keeping tension on the band. Because gluteus medius and minimus are primarily hip abductors, this is what they do. They bring our leg out to the side and they help to stabilize our pelvis and leg when we're standing on the leg. So when we do an exercise like this where we're going purely into hip abduction, it's really gonna specifically target those tendons out here where they attach on the greater trochanter, that bone on the side of the hip. So just go in and out nice and slowly. Again, all the exercises in this video are technically resistance training or strength training videos or strength training exercises. So you want to think about three sets of 10 to 15 reps and again, performing them three to four times a week. I can really feel my glutes on my stance leg as well. So this is an exercise that even if you only have pain on one side, I really like to switch. So if my right side had the pain, it can be really helpful to switch and do the other leg. Because I'm having to stand on my right leg, those glute muscles have to stabilize my leg and stabilize my pelvis. Sometimes people actually experience more fatigue when they're standing on the painful leg versus when it's doing the exercise. So perform both sides, both can be helpful. It's a good way to just alternate back and forth, do your 10 reps, and then switch back to actually moving your painful side. All right, so that is our second exercise, a banded hip abduction for really targeting those lateral tendons. All right, this is our last exercise. This is called a pelvic dip, and this is going to strengthen gluteus medius and minimus in a closed chain format. So this means that our foot is gonna be fixed to the ground. 
This is how these tendons really work in normal everyday function. They're normally stabilizing our pelvis and leg when we're walking. So this is going to be more similar to regular function. So you'll need a stair at your house or a little exercise step like this. Again, I'll put a link down in the description uh, to one on Amazon if you want to get one. So <clears throat> the leg that has pain, so in this case my right leg, I'm going to stand on the side of the step right there. I'm going to put my hands up here on my pelvis. And then what I'm going to do, the left side of my pelvis, I'm going to let it dip down slowly. And then I'm going to use my glute muscles on my right leg. I'm going to squeeze those glute muscles to lift my pelvis up and down. So this takes a little bit of practice to figure out. Don't use your core or, or core muscles or low back muscles. You're really thinking about squeezing those glute muscles on that kind of outside uh, area of your buttock region, squeezing those muscles to lower the opposite side of your pelvis and then lift it back up. So this again is what our glutes do in normal function. They help to keep our pelvis level. So we're just training them in sort of a more functional way. Again, those, it's going to put stress on the tendons as they come around. You'll feel fatigue if you're doing this right on the outside of your hip of the leg you're standing on. So just up and down. If you feel it a ton in your low back, then it probably means you're using your quadratus muscle too much, some of your core muscles. So just really think about squeezing those glutes, lower down slowly, control it with your glutes, and then squeeze them to lift the pelvis back up. You should feel the opposite side going up and down. Okay, so this is our third exercise. The most challenging one, it's called a pelvic dip. Thanks for checking out today's video. I hope you find the exercises to be helpful. My book is available on Amazon and Barnes & Noble. It has more comprehensive rehab programs for the most common pain issues. Each body region has its own chapter. If we go back to the hip chapter, we'll see that there is a gluteal tendinopathy and trochanteric bursitis program. All of the programs in my book are going to guide you through three phases, and we'll have pictures of me doing all of the exercises. Again, the programs are more comprehensive than my YouTube videos and are similar to what you'd get if you came to see me uh, in the clinic for a physical therapy program. So if you'd like to have a resource at home that allows you to do all of your own rehab, I'll put a link for the book down in the description. Thanks again for checking out today's video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.